we are here to once again show you my very insignificant glowstone dust collection. And why am I doing that? Because I think the fun thing we need to do in this episode is go and stock up. So, let me head on down to the cave base, get supplied up, ready to go, and I will meet you guys in the nether at our nether base. Okay guys, from those creepy sounds, you know we're here. And this is I think what we're gonna go out with. Plenty of arrows. Um, hmm. Not the diamond sword, I completely missed I had that on me. Glad I brought some iron with me. So, let's go ahead and get one of these real quick. Because... Like I just showed you guys at the beginning of this recording set, I have more iron than I know what to do with. So, we're definitely going fully decked out in iron armor and iron tools. And I brought one shovel, the one that was almost dead, just for the heck of it. They serve no purpose in another, but I figured, you know, why not? It'll complete the set. And you also might notice, I brought my bed. Why would I bring a bed to the nether? You can't sleep in the nether. It doesn't even get nighttime in the nether. Isn't it always nighttime in another? Well, I don't actually know the answer to that last one. But, something I've been wanting to test out for a while is do beds still explode when you try to sleep in them when you're in the nether? So, let us find out. But get very far away from all our stuff. And... This looks like a good spot to try. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, I didn't think it actually hurt you. I don't know why, you know. Why would an explosion hurt you? Uh, it shouldn't, right? I <laughs> Seriously, I thought maybe it just... Hey, hey! Plenty of nether rack. Go away. I really did not even put that together. But that was awesome! If it didn't hurt so bad, I'd say let's do it again. But that hurt pretty bad. So, let's go not into the lava. God, I need to do something about that, like, now. <laughs> Alright then. Feel slightly better about that. Let's go back to the house real quick. Heal up, since this is, this is a workbench already, and let's use what's already here. Wow. That was a lot of netherrack that I just grabbed. So there you go, guys. Confirmed. As of 1-7, beds still blow the crap out of the nether. The more you know. Cue the music now. <laughs> All right, so, first things first, I think what I want to try and do is put a roof right up here, at least some kind of temporary one, because I want that. That is probably the biggest, most lucrative glowstone deposit we have nearby, and you know, I figure the bigger the risk, the more interesting it'll be for you guys. Plus, from the time we set foot out of that portal the first time, that's been, that has caught my eye. And thanks to the area we're in, this might not be such a crazy idea that I might just be able to pull this off. Probably going to have to run back to the cave base a few times to pick up more cobble. But, I think this will be well worth it in the end, as thanks to Notch making Glowstone drop four blocks every time you mine one now, that should be a ton. Unfortunately, that will probably only be at best 25% of what I'm going to be needing 
to complete the tunnel the way I want it to look. But, if you're going to do a tunnel, or if you're going to do a project, do it upright and do it up big. As I'm sure you guys are well aware from many of the projects I've already done before. And heck, even as an example, the first tunnel we made. So. Right now I'm in my mind debating whether or not to keep much of this in, as this is a dangerous, crazy thing to be doing. Yeah, and there we go, a cobble. Or if I should just go ahead and skip ahead to when I at least have the roof done. You shut up! <laughs> but I think for now, I mean, I'm definitely going to record it all, I just don't know if I'm going to leave it all in when I edit. I guess, for now, there's something else I've been wanting to talk about, and for a while now, actually, is I, I yeah, speak the words. <laughs> Been wanting to thank you guys for all the comments and feedback you guys gave me in episode 97. For those of you who didn't sit down to watch the entire thing, well, shame on you. You missed out on a lot of interesting things. But for those of you who did watch it, like I said, thank you. And thank you for all the feedback and the support you guys gave me. That It really did mean a lot, and like I said, I've been meaning to say this to you guys for a while. I have actually read every comment, and... Given the format of the video, I decided that I wouldn't be replying to any of the comments as it was more of a way for me to say a bunch of things to you guys and to get your feedback. And letting you guys know that I did see it all I think is plenty good. Um, unless there are some specific ones you guys really had questions on that you don't think I've answered yet, by all means send me a PM here on YouTube, and I'll see what I can do about answering it. I'm pretty sure I covered everything I wanted to in that video, and in videos since. But, that felt way too fast. But, like I said, if you think there's something you really have a burning desire to have an answer to that you left as a question, then you shoot, run, run, run. Screw you and your infinite range. Eh? Come here. Come here. Why do they do that? Ooh, he doesn't see me. I'm gonna start shooting at him. Oh, he sees me. Run away! I mean, that's kind of our reaction, but... Oh, damn! Die! Woohoo! Gas powder! Thought I saw a second one. Oh well. One's good. For now, anyway. Where's the other guy? You just spawned. Come here. Oh, you're coming at me! You're a brave guest! I think not. Come here. Come here. Come here. If you weren't flying over lava right now, I would melee you. No. I said no. No. <laughs> Aww. I think we're gonna lose that. Ooh. That reminds me. That's something I've been meaning to fix for a little while. Something I noticed on when I was running around the tour server. Apparently we've got a massive lighting glitch here, so I'm going to head down here and turn all this back on, as it were. There we go. And add some light while we're down here, because maybe that will keep it from breaking itself again. Okay. Yeah, because like I said, when I was on the tour server, I was wandering around just, well, wandering around. And I was running along over here, and I was about to quite literally jump in the lava because, hey, that's dark. It's not lit. It must be safe. Right? No. 
not when the game bugs out on you. Hey guys, how's it going? I didn't hit any of you with uh, my arrows when I was fighting this ghast, right? We're cool? Alright, I'm gonna get back to work then. <sighs> it's still kind of funny just how calm I can be in the nether now. Ooh, and this is why we use cobble. <laughs> I'm trying to consider how far I want to take this, because I really like the openness of it, and I don't want the eyesore of all the cobble looking out from our house. But I really don't want even the remotest possibility, the remotest, tiniest angle a gas could get on me while we're messing around down there, literally inches from lava. Well, I guess a meter. So it's a few more than inches, but it's still really close, and I don't want to get knocked in or risk any of the glowstone getting destroyed by an overzealous ghast. This is one of those times where I kind of wish you guys could give me some sort of instant feedback and be like, Nocturne, you should totally do it like this. Because in my world, I did it like that, and it worked out great. You know, it's, it's almost a... I wish I was live streaming. Except, well, I'm obviously not, <laughs> and I haven't ever actually done that before. It's something that, well, now that I've mentioned it, I might as well talk about that. I have thought about it in the past, and it's something that, if I did it, I wanted to make sure that enough of you guys would be able to show up to it. Oh, f